Hi, this is Austin Wilson, and welcome to another edition of NCCC Student Talk. Today, our guest is Douglas George, and he will be talking about Charlie the Fish. Based on a true story. How are you doing today, Doug? Hi, I'm Doug. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we know that, Doug. But, uh, um, so you have a pet fish named Charlie. What kind of fish was he? A goldfish. A goldfish. Of legendary proportions. What did, why was he so legendary? Because he didn't die for a long time. Well, what were you feeding him that made him live so long? Well, it depended on the day. Some days he had some nice spaghetti leftovers, some hamburger, a couple times a hot dog. Um, you get the nice little, sometimes celery or raisins. Basically whatever we had laying around. Or obviously the fish, regular fish food. I'm not sure who's more special. You or the fish, I gotta say. <laughs> All right, so uh, what made Charlie a special fish? Like, what separated him from any other fish that you've known? Like, he would jump from one fish tank to the other. Just, that, not sure why, but he liked it, I guess. He, so we had two fish tanks, a 32 gallon and a 75. He would, like, jump from one to the other. I'm not sure how. But, like, one day he was in one, and the next day he was in a different one. Um. He also could do some tricks, like roll over, uh, play dead. You get, um, uh, sometimes we took a bath together. You took, what, what? Do, would you, do, it's still, you still did it. That's not important. Then another one of our favorite activities was like every Friday, I would put him in a nice little bowl or a bag, put him on a string and then walk him across the street. <laughs> to the store. How, how do you, how? And the, these little plastic bowls, like it's a little hamster bowl, but. It was filled with water. How would you... How would, how would it roll? The fish. Oh, and then there was a the time that we had a fishing tournament. And his little friends, fish friends, they would all be caught. Like, there was Jimmy, who was a little goldfish. Um, Jerome. Wait, what? So, Daquan. you went to the lake and did this? No. This was in my fish tank. <laughs> the fish tank <laughs> was filled with, like, seven or eight fish. And I all won from the same year. I actually won them at the Canal Fest. I hit the I hit the the big ball and the ball went in the top one, so I won like ten free fish. So I had the two medium sized ones with Jimmy and Charlie, and then I got like seven little fish who I don't remember their names, because most of them, those ones died, but the big one survived. And then we had some nice fishing moments where I would just take a little fishing hook, stick the parts of a hot dog, hamburger, or whatever I feel like it, and put it in the fish tank, and try to catch them. But Charlie was too smart for that. The other ones weren't. How did Charlie last pass today? I mean, uh, so, so is uh, Char Charlie still alive today, right? Uh, no, he he died after like seven or eight years, which is really good for a goldfish. Seven and eight? That's not, that's not bad. So, uh, do, do you have any fish today? <coughs> I hope not. I mean, uh, uh, or any other pets that you'd like to tell the uh, podcast about? Um, well, well, just for this podcast, we bought a new fish today. And his name was Fish Benoit. <laughs> Fish Benoit, like wrestler Chris Benoit. I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, uh, so did, would and you... we also have a bunch of other animals, too. Oh, okay, tell me about them. We have a nice little pig slash dog <coughs> slash cow, and he's sitting right behind you eating your sandwich. Oh, oh, oh dang. Uh, how did he, how did he even one. get into the studio? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Down, pups. Um, we also have a nice little like a prairie dog sitting in my little brother's room. He says it's a hamster, but I'm pretty sure it's a prairie dog. Um, we have a bunch of cats, which if anyone listening would like to, a cat or a kitten, feel free to take all of them. You hear that, folks? Uh, Doug's social security will be down in the iTunes down below, so you can just uh, check that out, and then Sounds you should be right. able to get and the information for his, for his cats. Yep. For confirmation. All right. And, uh, any other pets? Uh, well, we have a turtle, but I don't really consider it mine. Well, I heard there was another dog that you had that, uh, that, you know, likes to conquer things. Oh, yeah. We have a nice little Roscoe. He likes, he's world domination. He just takes over other countries like Poland and other people. 
All right. So, uh, what would your what would your advice be to any other fish owners of the future? You gotta train them good. One day you'll have them walking down the street with you like I did. All right. Well, if you train them well. We can do tricks. They can do nice swimming acrobatic stuff. You can take baths with them. You can put them in a little hamster ball filled with water, but it's called a fish bowl. And then you can roll it down the street with you. There's also a whole bunch of other enjoyment fish can bring people. So security's coming, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so I think we're running out of time here, Doug. Uh, th thanks for coming around, and uh, thanks for you folks for coming around to uh, NCCC uh, Student Talk. This program is produced by students in the digital media program at NCCC. No problem, Bob. My name is Bob. It's Austin Stankos to you. Thank you for listening.